everybody, my name is Melanie. This is my friend Rebecca. We're gonna do a quick full body reformer workout with maybe a little focus on abs and glutes. We're on a balanced body IQ reformer today. We're gonna to start on one red spring, which is one heavy. Rebecca, if you would, turn to face your foot bar. We're gonna begin in a kneeling position. Your toes are gonna to be curled under. Your feet will be up against the headrests or the shoulder blocks and place your hands shoulder distance apart onto the foot bar. Bring your shoulders right over your wrists and just bring your hips forward so that you're making as much of a diagonal line from your shoulders to your hips, your knees as possible. So almost push your hips forward a little bit more. Good, what you're gonna do is keep your arms straight, send the carriage back, opening up through the shoulder, pressing back, using the abs to control. Inhale, bring it right back in. And Rebecca, you went out pretty far at home. If that's feeling crazy, just go out a few inches if needed. It's the cameo from our noisy toilet. Good. And if you're feeling like this is going into your back at all, you can give maybe a little scoop under with the pelvis. Good. Rebecca, where are you feeling this right now? It's like the middle of my middle. <laughs> the middle of your middle? All right. Maybe don't go out quite so far. Good. And back in. Each time you go back up, you want to think about your head going on an upward diagonal. So rather than directly forward, you want to think about shooting back and straight. Not straight up, but on that upward diagonal. Let's go for two more. Last one. Press out and hold. Deep breath in. Exhale. Bring it in slow motion. Head scoots on that upward trajectory. And bring it back in. Good, now we're gonna target the lower abdominal. So Rebecca, if you would press the carriage out once more. We're gonna keep those arms extended, hold them there. Now you're gonna scoot the carriage in and out, bending at the hips, bringing your knees forward and press it right back in or right back out. Good, so we're going for those pulses with the knees. We're gonna fire up those lower abdominals, get that transverse abdominus, that deep layer of your core, fire it up. Good, and again, if you feel like you're feeling this in your back at all, make sure you're not arching through that low back. You want a really nice neutral spine as opposed to anything really arched or curved here. And if you're feeling like this is not challenging enough, you could press away a little bit more. That feels like that's a good choice for you. Rebecca, let's do a little experiment. What happens if you expand a little at that shoulder angle? Yeah, and now bring the knees in. Does that feel any different? Yeah, yeah. What are you feeling that's different? Yeah, it feels a little more challenging. Okay, so. I'm more in my, the full uh, abdominal instead of just the lower. Good, good. All right, let's go for another 10. This is nine. Eight. Seven. Last six. Five. Four. And three, almost there. Two. And one, bring the knees in, draw the carriage home, and rest your hips down on your heels. You're gonna press your arms flat, back, flat forward and just go for a child's pose here. Yep, so you can reach your fingertips past that foot bar. Yep, big breath in, exhale. Let your torso sink down, feel that stretch through your back. Very nice, and roll on up to sitting. We're gonna turn around and kind of go from a push exercise to a pull exercise. And if you guys have done some of my videos before, you've probably seen this, because I love it. You're gonna kneel on the carriage with your knees right up against the shoulder blocks. And you're gonna walk your hands out on the frame a little bit past your shoulders. So you can walk them a little bit further forward. What we're gonna do is keep this neutral spine Abs are gonna engage. We're gonna take a big breath in, pull the carriage forward, drawing the bed forward without pulsing your knees, bringing your shoulders right above your wrists and right back down. Rebecca, you could probably walk your fingers a little further forward. And each time you pull the carriage forward, you want the shoulders to stop right above the wrists rather than going over. Good. Let's go for another six. This is five. Four. So Rebecca's doing a really good job of keeping the hips right above the shoulders. 
It's really common to try to scoop the knees forward or have some instability through the pelvis, but the whole goal here is to try to keep that really stacked and use the back and the core to pull forward. I think we have two more, I lost count. <laughs> On this last one, pull forward and hold for five, four, three, two, one, big breath in, bring it home, take a quick child's pose. We're gonna reset and take some more variations. All right, bringing it right back up. Walk those fingertips out. If that was pretty easy, you can take the fingertips a little further forward. If not, you can bring them closer if you need less challenge. Keeping the hips right above the knees, deep breath in, exhale, pull the carriage forward, hold, lower abs one more time, pulse the knees forward and back under the hips. Let's go for 10, nine, this is eight, seven, six, good control, Rebecca. Last four, three, two, and one. Bring it back home, child's pose, deep breath in, hips to your heels, our toilet is singing. And back up. Now we're gonna go for obliques, same concept. So you're gonna come back to kneeling you're gonna bring both hands to the left frame, just about maybe six to 10 inches apart. And we're gonna keep your hips over your heels one more time. We're gonna pull forward with straight arms and back. If you need to walk out a little further to make space, that's totally fine. Adjust if you need to. We're gonna go for six more. So here we're firing up the obliques on the left side. Good. And this is three. Two, nice job, and one. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it back, and let's go right to the other side. Hands to the right rail, walk them out to your comfortable position. Hips stay over the heels. You're gonna keep the arms straight as you pull forward, keeping that alignment, and back, good. This is five, going for six in total. Four, exhaling as you pull forward. Three. Last two, keeping that belly button pulled in toward your spine. Last one, hold for five. Four, three, two, one. Back to center. Find your child's pose. Left hand to the left rail, right hand to the right rail, hips to your heels. Big breath in, feel your lungs expand in 3D. And exhale, relax it back. Good, all right, we're gonna do a little glute series. So Rebecca, if you would change to one blue spring and you're, you're gonna come to lying down on your side facing camera. You guys will be lying on the right side of your torso. You can rest your head down on your hand. Your arm is going to be on the shoulder rest, the, or the head rest, which will be in the downward position. You can also rest your head down on your bicep or on a, um, a yoga block. What you're gonna do is grab onto that rope in front of you you're gonna place that strap onto the arch of the top foot. So this will be the left foot. Good. Once you're there, you're gonna draw your knees in toward your chest a little bit so they are in front of your hips or a little bit further forward. You're gonna make sure your shoulders are stacked and your hips are stacked so you're not rolling back. And you want a little bit of lift under your bottom rib. So you should be able to fit a finger underneath your rib cage. What we're gonna do is lift that leg to hip height Keep that foot flexed. You're gonna press your leg straight out. So it's right in line with your hip. And inhale, draw it back in slowly with control. Good. Let's keep this going. Good, we're gonna do eight in total. This is six. So if you've taken my class before, you know my mantra is control on the way out, control on the way in. You wanna make sure that you're not riding the spring as you come back, you're resisting it. So good, Rebecca. Let's go for three more. And as you do this work, just make sure you've got that little lift under the rib, the bottom rib. Good, last one. And extend it out. Good, you're gonna keep it there. You're gonna go for tiny pulses up and down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and hold. Now we're gonna go for small circles to the back, just the size of a tennis ball. This is six, eight in total, five, four, three, two, one, reverse directions. Let's go for eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, one. Bring it back to center, bend the knee in, rest the leg down. Next, we're gonna take the strap off, and if you can, you're gonna shimmy it up over the knee onto your thigh. If that's not happening for you, just leave it on the, the foot. That's completely fine too, but if you can, let's place it on the thigh above the knee. We're gonna draw the knees a little bit further in toward your chest. Check to make sure your hips and shoulders aren't rotating forward. You've got that bottom rib lift. Now, this is my favorite glute series of all time. We're going to flex that top foot, raise the top leg to hip height, and lower down. Good. So the carriage here, as you lift and lower, to what, like count number three, is that the carriage is just gonna barely move, if at all. So this is a, a pretty small movement. We're not seeing a ton of back and forth movement of the bed. It's totally normal. So we've got three more. Last two. And one, pause at hip height. We're gonna take tiny pulses up and down. Let's go for eight, seven. So you make a little, little slight more motion in the carriage, that's fine. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause at hip height. Now you're gonna lift the leg, internally rotate your knee, bring it down to the bottom knee. Lift, externally rotate, heel to heel, toe to toe. So now more movement in that carriage. Good, so each time I want you to lift, rotate, lift and rotate each time, yep. And it's really easy to let that top hip rotate downward as that knee goes down. I challenge you to really work the rotation in your hip socket, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get that hip joint nice and well oiled. So especially if you were someone with a dance background, that internal rotation might be a little harder. So think about a little bit more. Is this your tough hip? Mm, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying not to manhandle okay. you. Um, so I think we've got two more. Good. And one. Good. Rest it down just for a second. Lower that top knee onto your bottom knee. If you need to pound out your glute on the top leg, go for it. We have one more variation before we move on. So reset yourself, stack your hips and shoulders, lift that bottom rib, top feet, foot flexes, lift the leg to hip height. We're now gonna go for oval. So what you're gonna do is keep that leg parallel to the ceiling and the ground. You're gonna lift it, draw an oval. Think about if you had a salad plate on that top leg, it would not fall off. So you wanna keep that shin parallel. Knee goes down, around, and up. Good. How are you doing, Rebecca? Mm -hmm. Good. Feels okay? Yeah, it's a tough one, but that's, I like it. That was a tough one. If the spring resistance is too much, you could always go down to a yellow spring, which is an extra light spring. Good. Two more from here. Really challenge yourself on the range, not in a way that feels unsafe, but maybe get a couple more millimeters down and up. Good. Now we reverse. Keeping that salad plate right on the top of the leg. We're gonna draw that oval. That if you can, a little more range if you can do it. And what some, the mistake some people make on this one is you might try to extend the leg as the leg is going out. We're just really trying to keep that knee bent at the same angle, preferably a right angle the whole time. Good, I think we should have three more on this side. Last two. And one, bring that leg back to starting, lower it down, pound it out. Take that strap off of your leg and we're gonna go for the other side. So turning onto the left side of your torso, have to think about it for a minute. You're gonna bring your head down to that comfortable position, resting on your hand, your bicep, or on a yoga block or a pillow. Take that strap, place it onto the arch of the foot, the top foot to begin. Knees come in toward your chest just a little bit. Stack the shoulders, lift that bottom rib. Big breath in, exhale, lift the uh, belly button in toward your spine. We're gonna extend the leg out to the side. Let me get the rope out of your way, Rebecca. Good, all right, and continuing on, we're gonna do eight in total. Try to drive your heel back just another inch so it's right in line with the hip, beautiful. So for this one, it's really important that the knee is stays, staying facing forward. We're not an external rotation where the knee is turned out. It's just straight forward and parallel. And flexing all five toes 
forward will really, really help in engaging the entire lower leg here too. Good, two more. Let that knee drop. And one, pause to the side. We're gonna take tiny pulses up and down, flexing the foot. Let's go for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause there. We're gonna take small circles to the back for eight, seven. Trying to keep that pelvis really still. This is five, four, three, two, one. Reverse directions for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend to the knee, low, uh, lower the leg. Rest for one second, and when you're ready, we're gonna take the strap off of the arch of the foot, and there it is again. Shimmy it up over the knee onto the thigh. If that's not working for you, keep it on the foot. We're gonna bring the knees in toward the chest a little bit. Stack the hips, stack the shoulders, lift that bottom rib. Think about maybe sending that top hip away from you. We're gonna flex all five toes on the foot, bring it up to hip height, and lower down. Good, so a little bit more height if you can, Rebecca. Nice, and down. Let's go for six, this is eight in total. Five, exhaling as you lift. Four, three, final two, and one. Bring it back up to hip height. We're gonna go for tiny pulses up and down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and bring it back to hip height. We're gonna lift inward rotation, knee to knee. Lift, external rotation, heel to heel, toe, toe to toe. So now more motion in that carriage. Nice. So try to really think about a nice stable pelvis. It's really hard when you're fighting for your life a little bit, which I do in this one for sure. Good. And there's definitely gonna be more of a sense of pressing away when you're in that external rotation. Good. Try to bring that knee even a little bit forward toward your chest here. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I think three more. My counting is not so on point today. Sorry, Rebecca. A few extra never hurt anybody. Yeah. You have a really buff right side. <laughs> All right. And lower it down. Have a rest. Pound it out for one second. We've got one final set. These are like my favorite and my least favorite, this next one. <laughs> so flex the toes, you're gonna lift that to hip height, we're gonna go for ovals now. So think about that salad plate right on top of your, your shin. Don't drop the salad, you're gonna draw that oval with your leg. Good, try to skim your bottom knee with that top knee if you can. Yeah, good. Better range on the side. Mm -hmm. Good, and once again, keep that knee bent at a right angle, we're not extending at any point, that knee is staying bent. Good, four more. Nice slow control, Rebecca, I'm, I'm impressed. Welcome. Last couple. Good, and let's reverse when you're ready. You're gonna press out, bring it up. Really nice range. It's kind of like you're stirring a cauldron, just with less torso motion than I just did. Good, five more. So you probably will feel glutes on this one, probably a good amount of hamstrings on this variation too, since you're pressing into that strap with the thigh, but it's all good. Good, last one. And lower it down, pound it out, take that strap off when you are ready and rotate onto your back. We're just gonna do a basic figure four stretch. We're gonna do a lot more uh, hamstring stretches later. So rotate to your back. You're gonna cross one ankle over the opposite knee, thread your hands through your, your thighs, and you're gonna grab onto that opposite supporting leg. If you wanna push away on that bent knee with your elbow, that might feel really good. And you can think about exactly exhaling as you draw that supporting leg in toward your chest. About releasing tension through your shoulders, letting them rotate out and down. When you're ready, let's go for the opposite leg. How are your hip flexors feeling? Ooh. Yeah? Fiery. <laughs> A little fiery.
All right, when you're ready, roll on up to sitting and we're gonna move on. All right, we're gonna do some back work next. So Rebecca, if you would switch to one red spring. And that's a heavy spring for those who are not on a balanced body reformer. Turn to face the shoulder blocks. You're gonna thread your legs through the shoulder rests with your heels above. If you need to cross your legs, it's fine. Grab onto the ropes. And what we're gonna do is thread your arms through those loops so that they come to rest above your elbows. The toilet is working overtime today. <laughs> what you're gonna do is place the straps onto your elbows. Your palms are gonna face your ears. You're gonna stay sitting up really tall. And what we're gonna do is draw your elbows back so that your arms are coming back behind you. Your shoulder blades are coming in and together and a little bit behind your body. Good, so flip your palms to face your ears. Good, how's the intensity on this right now? Mm, it feels good. Can you use a little more or are you doing okay? I think this is probably the right amount. The right amount, okay. Yeah. It is for me too, but I just wanted to check. Good. So something Rebecca is doing really well is just keeping nice, open, tall posture. It may be tempting to push the rib cage forward, but that's not really achieving what we want it to. We're trying to get this strength happening in the upper back. And if you pop the rib cage, it's kind of cheating your muscles from being able to squeeze the shoulder blades together in the back. So really think about that rib cage staying down as the arms travel back. Good. And if this is overactivating any muscles in your neck or your traps. One thing to watch out for is making sure the elbows aren't going too high. They can stay below shoulder height. Or maybe you need to think about a blue spring or a light spring instead of that heavy spring. And conversely, if you need more resistance, you can tag on a yellow spring for this. That's another good option. Good, let's go for four more. Last three. Final two. Last one, you're gonna pause. Let's hold for five, four, three. Are you still breathing? Two, no, maybe not. And one, <laughs> bring it back to starting. Very nice. All right, we're gonna stay on that red spring. If you would, you're gonna bend, uh, hold on to the rope still, scoot your butt a little bit forward. You're gonna bring your feet to the headrest. So what you're gonna do is kind of come to a curl position and you're gonna grab onto the ropes right above the hardware. You're gonna find a little bit of a C-curve position right here. Good, and you're gonna roll back up to sitting. Good, deep breath in, exhale. Roll it back and roll it forward. So something that's really common when you're going through this roll back exercise is a lot of people might wanna lead with the chest and the chin. I'd really like for you to think about going down one vertebra at a time and up one vertebra at a time. So you start with that sacrum Roll down so you're kind of hovering with the mid back above and then you roll back in the opposite direction. Nice, really good curve. Okay, make sure the shoulders roll back a little bit. Beautiful, nice wide collarbone. You're leading a little bit with the chest as you come up. Think about the lower spine unfurling last. There you go. Very nice. A little more back. Now, as you find that deep C curve, I'd like for you to pull the straps forward, bring your elbows kind of like they're almost skimming the sides of your torso. Go for a little row here. Good, belly button staying in toward your spine. Not twisting through the wrists, trying to keep them nice and straight. Good, how are you doing? Is this okay? Good. Chin is staying a little bit tucked here so you're not arching the chin up and stressing out your cervical spine. And you, again, you wanna think about the shoulder blades squeezing together in the back, but not with the shoulders up. You wanna think about them going down and together. Let's go for three, two, and one. Very good, all right, sit up nice and tall, roll up all the way, release the straps. We're gonna turn around and do something else. So let's finish up with a little bit of abs. So Rebecca, if you would, you have two choices for springs here. A red spring or a heavy spring will actually be a little bit easier, more supportive. A blue spring will be a little bit harder because you have less holding you together on the machine. So Rebecca's going for it. We're going for a spicy blue spring today. So <laughs> if you would turn to face your foot bar and you're gonna bring your toes to be curled under, feet up against the headrest 
and your hands will be underneath your shoulders on the foot bar. So before you get moving, bring the carriage all the way in. You're gonna bring your shoulders right above the wrist. So Rebecca, I think you need to press forward just a little bit. And you want a nice long neck. Rebecca, you're gonna think about almost curving the pelvis under, curling the pelvis under. So you have like a little scoop and bring your hips forward just a little bit more, okay? Good, what you're gonna do is lift your knees up and ex toilet again, and extend your legs all the way out. Good. Now what we're gonna do is press the carriage away and bring the carriage a little bit in. How you doing? You dying yet? No. Okay. <laughs> I don't want you to die. That's why I'm asking. It's not the goal. Just maybe like a little like life of flashing before your eyes. I don't want you to actually die. Good. And once again, just as we did in that bent knee variation where we're kneeling on the reformer before, I want you to think about, yes, that head going in an upward diagonal here. Good. Let's go for three. Last two. Okay. Next time you bring it in, you're gonna pause there. And I'd like for you to bend your knees, bring the carriage in and rest. Good, take a quick child's pose. Arms extend forward, hips come down to your heels. Very good and roll on up to sitting. All right, we're gonna do uh, some further plank variations. Rebecca's gonna grab a box. If you don't have one, you could just walk your feet further forward, but this is preferable for support. So she's gonna place it in short box position. So you're gonna flip it around to uh, perpendicular. Yep, right up against those shoulder blocks. And what you're gonna do is sit down on the box to begin. You're gonna bring your toes to curl under and place your heels up against the box. Yep, and bring your hands to the shoulder blocks, just as you did before. I'm sorry, the foot oh. bar. Bring your hands to the foot bar. I'm definitely PMSing right now. I can't keep my words straight. So bring your hands to the foot bar, shoulders right above the wrists. Mm -hmm. And you're going to just lift your butt up, and you're going to come to a plank. So shoulders right above the wrists, out to your plank. Good. Find the diagonal line. This is really nice. Now you're going to bend your knees, draw the carriage in, and extend, pressing out. So this box here is giving you a little something to push your feet into. Rebecca, you're gonna keep going, you're doing great. Put a little more pressure through the palms so you separate through the shoulder blades. There you go. Um, if you don't have the box, again, you could do this without, but it just gives you a little bit more support. Good. Important things to think about, you don't want the hips to dip too low, you don't wanna arch your back and have the hips come way high, but Rebecca's doing great. Good, last one. Good, pause out. Now we're gonna pike up. You're gonna keep your legs uh, straight. You're gonna send your butt up to the sky. Uh, almost, let's bring it back home. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's all right. So what we're gonna do is find a straight leg plank and you're gonna bend at the hips. You're gonna send your butt up to the sky. You're gonna look for your ankles. Yep, bring the heels in and extend out. Yep, yep, so you're gonna go look for your heels. Good, extend out, there you go. So this one uses a lot of lower abdominals. Nice. And you want your shoulders to pretty much stay over your wrist, so you're pressing out a little far. That's gonna give you a little more support on that shoulder joint, so you're not stressing it out too much. Good, let's do one more. Thank you, press out. Now bend the knees, draw the carriage in, sit your butt down on that box, and just take a breather. Thank you for being a trooper. <laughs> All right, let's get rid of that box. Actually, I lied. We'll do one more ab thing with a box. So, uh, Rebecca, if you would add a bunch, all the springs onto the machine, what we're gonna do is just get everything on there because we're not gonna move the carriage. We want it to stay right where it is. And you're gonna grab that strap that's sitting right in front of the machine and you're gonna place your feet underneath it. So what should happen is you should have some pressure in the strap if you don't, you're gonna move your butt back. And if you need even more pressure, what you could do is place this box over the shoulder blocks. You gonna do that? I think I usually have to do if that. you're like five, seven or over, um, for those of you in the US who use the imperial system, uh, you'll need to do that, most likely. So place your feet under the strap. Scoot your butt back until you have pressure. Your feet can rest on that platform or they may fall into the well. 
and you're gonna sit up really tall so your chest uh, comes a little bit forward, your shoulders are right over your hips, and you're gonna place your arms into the stacked position. It's up toilet. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna mimic that rollback that we just did. So you're gonna think about curling the pelvis under, rolling back one vertebra at a time till you find that shaky, shaky place. Big breath in, keep that curve a little bit as you roll up, unfurl the spine, sit up nice and tall. Good, once again, curl the pelvis under, sacrum rolls first. Good, keep that curve as you roll up, sit up super tall without flaring the rib cage, keeping the ribs down. Really nice. Let's go for four more. And back up. This is three. And back. Final two. And back. We said abs, we're doing it. And one. Good. Shaking is really good. That's a great sign. Good. Fall over your legs. Reach for your ankles. Take a big breath. We've got one more variation here. So sitting up really tall, making sure you still have tension in those straps. You can cross your opposite arm on top of the other arm. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hinge with a, a straight back. So a neutral spine. You're going to lift without curving under. You're going to send your torso back. That's as far as I can go without a strap and straight up. So we shouldn't have any curling under with the pelvis. This should almost be as if you're hinging with that straight-ish spine. Good, really nice. Let's go for four more. Exhale as you go up. It's gonna really help. That was an aggressive exhale. Pursed lips can also help uh, engage your TVA. Last one. Good. All right. Reach for those ankles. Fall over the legs. Big breath in. And exhale, release. Let's sit up. Step off the machine. Get rid of the box. We're just going to do a little bit of leg stretches and hip stretches. So you guys are going to switch to one red spring or one heavy spring. That's all right. It's fine. This is not a professional situation. Uh, so one red spring. You're gonna come to kneeling on the machine. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna, just as we have been, curl your toe on the left side under, place your left foot up against that shoulder rest behind you. And you're gonna place your right foot onto the foot bar in between your uh, hands. So you're gonna actually bring that right foot onto the foot bar up there. Good. So what you wanna do is square up your hips so they're both facing forward. You don't want that left hip turning behind you. What you're gonna do is extend that right leg, sending the carriage back. You can lower your torso if you like. Rebecca's extraordinarily flexible. So don't be intimidated and bring it back. So for those of you at home, you might also consider trying to keep your knee a little bit under your hip if this is too much. So you can just think about extending the right leg. Yeah. Good. And one more. Good. Now we're going to reset, extend that right leg out one more time. What we're going to do is send that left knee back a little bit. So you're going to move the carriage in and out just in a little bit. This is an intense stretch. So if any of this is too much, dial it back till it's comfortable for you. Good. And bring it on home. Good. Let's switch sides. Right foot comes down to the back shoulder rest. Left foot comes to the foot bar. Square off the hips. So your right hip is making sure it's wrapped forward a little bit. Good, now we're gonna extend that left leg as far as you comfortably can. It might just be a couple inches. It's completely fine, it's not a contest. And bring it back in. Then extend it out. And back. Let's go for two more. Uh, breathing really helps here. And one. Now you're going to pulse that back knee in and out. So I was, uh, just as much as is comfortable. You want to just take a full split as well. If you have that in you, that's, that's great too. Good. All right. Bend the top knee. Bring it back in. Bring that foot down to the carriage. And you are done. Thank you, Rebecca.
Thank you guys at home. Uh, please like, subscribe, it helps me out so much. And uh, we have a lot more reformer videos coming, so please leave me a comment and let me know what you wanna do, and we'll do it, okay? Have a good one, bye.